The new video of the moment sea lions charge beachgoers in San Diego. You know when it happened? Right after lifeguards told people not to get too close. Our chief national correspondent, Matt Gutman, joins us now with the very latest. Good morning, Matt. Hey, good morning, Lindsay. It seems like it's the summer trend. Humans getting too dangerously close to wild animals who then react. This latest installment happened just south of here in La Jolla. A bunch of people getting too close to a nursery of sea lions. Then the sea lions justifiably acting territorially and chasing them off. And in Florida, a man riding his personal watercraft right through a pod of protected manatees. <laughs> This moment in La Jolla Cove in San Diego, the latest example of tourists behaving badly, often for the sake of a selfie. Two sea lions charging at beachgoers, defending their territory. And just moments before that, lifeguards warning sightseers not to get too close. Please give that large male sea lion plenty of room. They have the people. And they are protected animals. Suddenly, another sea lion dashes out of the water and darts towards the crowd, prompting everyone to run. <laughs> Male sea lions can reach up to seven feet in length and weigh up to 750 pounds. And they're capable of reaching 25 miles per hour on land. They've got a big set of teeth on them and they can give a very serious bite. And then you have this conflict that when a sea lion hurts somebody, what ends up being hurt the most is going to be the sea lion because it either has to be euthanized, has to be removed from the environment, becomes a threat to people. And off Peanut Island in Florida, this disturbing video showing a man on a personal watercraft riding straight up to a pod of manatees. And you can catch him with his phone in his hand, driving right to them to take a picture, the current and the direction where the manatees were going kind of put him right on top of them. Their flapping and flailing means they're in distress. Manatees are listed as a threatened species and protected by the Florida Manatee Sanctuary Act, making it illegal to touch them. My initial thoughts in seeing that video were horror. It's likely those manatees were congregating what's called a mating ball, that these males were going around a female for reproduction. And you can see the panic as they try to disperse. Experts say the number one thing to remember when around these wild animals is to keep your distance. I understand there's a curiosity to get a good look at these animals. They're fascinating, they're incredible. But please understand, by this type of behavior, you're only hurting the animal, and you can very much be hurting yourself as well. And the concern among wildlife officials is that humans keep getting closer and closer to these wild animals, which gets them habituated to being near humans. And then an invisible line is crossed and the animals act aggressively, and sometimes they have to be put down. So to recap, wildlife officials say it's not only illegal to be that dangerously close to the animals, it's not only dangerous, it can also be cruel. Guys. I'm glad you did that recap. Yes. Cannot mm -hmm. emphasize that enough, Matt. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.